All right there, folks. Welcome back to Malmo. And, well, we've come some way into the season, as we said we would be for the for the last episode, obviously knocked out by, by Arsenal. Uh, Champions League continued. Arsenal have progressed to the semi-finals to face Real Madrid. So... Would we have would we have qualified beyond this? Yeah, I reckon so. If we'd beaten Arsenal, I think we probably would have gone on to be champions. Uh, yeah, season started pretty well. Nine games into the league campaign, eight wins, one draw. That draw, sole draw, coming quite recently against Harkin at home. Inexplicable in its as you'll see there. Uh, Twenty twenty eight shots, twelve on target to the one strike off target from Harkin. It's just one of those days, I suppose, when the ball refused to go in. We hit the woodwork a couple of times. Just bizarre. A dream point for Harkin. Other than that, though, it's been plain sailing. Very uh, straightforward in, in some regards. A tight win there at Ostersund's. The last 10 minutes are pretty squeaky, if you know what I mean. Uh, but other than that, even a 5-1 win over AK. Interestingly, two players dismissed at the same time. I didn't realise this. I think uh, Nielsen was sent off for a bad tackle and Vinheim was dismissed for back chat so both sent off uh, but we managed to, to win the game by five goals to one against today's opponents AIK now AIK was the the game I originally planned to, to bring but it was going to be the league game so because we managed to progress and face them in the cup final I thought that was far more interesting to bring so it's going to be cup final Svenska Kupen final action live with you in just a second um, let's have a look at some of the performances though Shea Gomez leading the way with goals and assists. He's got 15 and 13 respectively in 8.29 in his first season with the club. Uh, still only 20. You know, I mean, I'm sure you've seen in probably your own saves that he develops quite nicely. Ends up a pretty standard, uh, good Premier League player, usually in the Premier League. And he's playing for us in the Alstvenskan, so that's good. Uh, Strandberg and Jezza continue with goals because Hurler's doing well as well. Uh, Otherwise, it's, you know, we're trying to rotate the team. The problems we're having is because league rules in Sweden uh, are that you have to have nine Swedish grown players effectively. So it does mean that because we've started to bring in some non-Swedish players, you can see, or well, you can't actually see on this, but let's let's see if we can change this to Alsvenskan. Um, how few, it doesn't actually tell me there, does it? I was, I was, let's see if we click it again let's go back and back no I thought it might show me how many home grows but effectively we sort of it, it limits us so I'm having to name an entire bench of seven with Swedish players which means some players miss out so it does mean rapid rotation amongst the midfield it probably is going to force the hand if we continue to play on um, in selling players that maybe we don't want to uh, Ryan Gould is unhappy because he's been unfairly treated about joining the champ, being outside the Champions League squad. I mean, we're out of Europe anyway, so he probably shouldn't worry about that. Uh, he'll probably be in the next one because Mangala will leave. So, anyway, I digress. Uh, let's get to the cup final action then. I'll see you pitch side in just a second with the teams. Just notice there's four days to go, so I've planned that well. So, it, it won't be a second. It'll be several minutes while we progress the four days Well, we made it, folks. I'm just picking the team. Just notice this game's on a Thursday night. I mean, what an odd time for a cup final. But anyway, I'll see. Uh, as I say, I'll see you pitch side with the teams in just a second. So there we go with the teams. Then no strange nine players in this competition. Like no registration rules. So we name the team we want. Uh, effectively, just means changes to the bench. It means we can actually have uh, Ricinho, uh and Gold on the bench. Although I don't actually think Gold is on the bench. Did I miss him? I thought I put him in the bench on the bench. I, I obviously haven't. Apologies, Ryan. Um, who's dropped the complaint as well about being unfairly treated, which he wasn't. So I'm glad about that. Anyway, uh, the strikers, Jezza, Hulla and Zay Gomez with Strandberg on the bench. Um, interestingly as well, this is at the Friends Arena. That's AIK's stadium. So we're up against it already. Uh, I fully expect them to come out with a trophy there. We have just beaten this AIK side by five goals to one. They have a former player of ours, a player we released but never played effectively. And it's Benkvist, who is a front man. Let's get out there and see if we can get this win. He's just kicked off the ball, Benkvist, and Al is has been a problem for us in the past. And, well, he was almost a problem for us again. Uh, just a few minutes in, Bojanic launches one over the crossbar. Decent effort from that kind of range. You've got to admire the guy for, for trying the, the the strike. 
Vinheim then. Not that this has been a really boring half. 40 minutes in, Vinheim's free kick. And, uh, well, it ends up with Lucas Hurler, who puts it into the bottom corner. Really poor defending from, from AIK. Claiming offside. Didn't feel offside, but then we had a lot of bodies forward, so it could easily have been. See how many players on this side that we've got uh, open. And that continues... Grich there, nice ball through. I mean, there may well have been an offside man there, but it was certainly wasn't Lucas Hurley. He well onside and scores easily. So at the break then, we go in one goal to the good. Uh, need to be wary, of course, of complacency. A few, you know, issues there. Shekomis and Jezza not having the best of games, but we've got Strandberg waiting in the wings. Should that continue into the second half? So fingers crossed we can come away with the third Svenska Cup of our tenure. Uh, it, this would, you know, this is likely to be our third double in domestic s Swedish football out of three, so that's pretty good. And nothing's really improved. No, it's a really dull game. We're going to change. Uh, Strandberg is going to come on for Jezza, and hopefully he can do some damage. And here we go. Then Nielsen's ball to Strandberg and Jay Gomez races down this right side, crosses. Grich is looking for it. It's sort of really poorly uh, defended, but equally. Uh, thundered over the crossbar by Carlos Strandberg. Should have done better with that. We've got about 15 minutes to play, plus a little bit of extra stoppages, etc. Um, I think we're going to bring on Benaku, and we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Uh, Rysinho is expecting more first-team football. Apparently, I've promised this to him, and time is running out to give it to him. I don't remember promising it to him, because I never promised first-team football to a player who... And Mangala hits the post, but uh, Benaku, the man we just put on, Eggsy, scores. So we do need to give Rysinho some games because, yeah. That should secure the cup win. It's not been a classic. It's not been a classic, but that's what happens when you play a cup final on a Thursday night, I suppose. You know, I'm just surprised all these players have travelled. Oh, players, I expect them to have travelled. They We pay them to travel. All these fans have travelled. There's a lot of them. Oh, well, maybe it's not game over. Benkvist uh, straight from goal kick. Goal kick? Kick off. That's that's how you class it. Anderson. Benson. Nice. Nicely uh, tackled there by Mangala. Looks for Jay Gomez. Strandberg racing in. Hurler on this left side. Crosses. Jay Gomez heads home. It's certainly over now. Put blue and white ribbons on that there trophy. Because we're going to collect it in a few minutes time. I'm certain of that. We uh, move the ball nicely from back to front there. And the front three all involves Strandberg. Hurler. Gets into the box, crosses nicely, and Jay Gomez just simple, simple header placements beyond the goalkeeper. And I think we will bring on Raisinho. He's going to need to play a game in the next couple of weeks, which we were probably going to do anyway. We, as I say, we're trying to rotate the midfield. He's just probably the, the least likely to start of the, uh, I thought we were going to score again, of the, uh, the midfielders that we have. So we just need to increase his playing time ever so slightly. There it is then. Vinheim's taken a knock. He's off getting treatment, but it won't matter. The tournament is won again. Three trophies in three years. Uh, well, three cup trophies in three years and hopefully three league titles in three years. Certainly should be. Uh, this is what football is made of. Magical moments as we parade the trophy. And we're heading for Mal the Malmo fans, but it seems harsh that we walk past all of these angry AIK uh, diehards who have stayed after the final whistle to see us collect the trophy, which is which is fair play to them. So congratulations to the boys and happy, happy days. So what does that do for us then? Nothing much. We should have Champions League qualification coming up in the next few... Uh, well, it's May now, so we'll have our... You can see we get to the 2nd of June in a few weeks' time, and then we have a break until July, and then we should see Champions League action sort of around this kind of area that's what we'll be back for champions league qualifiers if the first qualifying round that we're involved in involves a decent side then it'll be that if it's a team from luxembourg or andorra watch we'll us draw one of those and lose uh, then it won't be that but it will be the next round if it's a good good team though a good standard then it'll be back for that so yeah do pop a like on there for me for the third trophy win out of three we've never lost a svenska coupon game which is good and Subscribe for far more Football Manager 18 and 19 content coming very soon. I'll see you on the next video. Take care and goodbye.